The design tool allows the site's cameras, algorithms and storage requirements to be input and suggests the most appropriate server configuration for your application. Start the tool by clicking the Design Tool button and logging in using your registered details. Name your project and give it a description. Working from the site's requirements, add the various camera groups. Add each camera group. Pay particular attention to the format, resolution and frame rate. Generally, the default bitrate can be left unchanged unless the application specifically requires it to be altered. The amount of days the recordings are kept before being overwritten and also the estimated percentage of the day that recordings will take place must also be entered. And then include a secondary low-resolution stream of, say, SIF or QSIF if analytics will be used. Select the analytics required. Enable the Motion Database option if motion area searches will be used. When all the camera groups are created, go to the Server Configuration section. Enter the specifications that you anticipate for the server. The results section will always show a working solution. However, some values will be shown in red. These red values are where a bottleneck occurs that increases the server count. Our example shows a bottleneck on the drive size. 8 terabyte of drive space was used in the server, but it appears that 56 terabytes, 8 terabytes times 7 servers will be needed. Changing the drive size to 60 terabytes eliminates that bottleneck and also reduces the server count. We can do the same with the resulting network bandwidth bottleneck. 175 by 2 gives 350 megabits per second. A 1 gig Ethernet line can sustain 600 megabit per second, so if we change the proposed network bandwidth, the bottleneck will be reduced. Once the configuration calculations are complete, save the work. The results can be reviewed and printed from the resulting PDF document. Click the subscribe button and get informed of all the new features and tutorials. Thank you for watching.